If you are a gardener in zone nine, I have the most perfect collection of seeds for you. And I just know you're gonna love them as much as I do. So I've honestly never been so excited about a collection of seeds as I am right now. I was very fortunate to be able to partner with True Leaf Market in the creation of a product specifically for zone nine gardeners. And right here I have the 12 variety seed collection for zone nine gardeners. It is all of my tried and true favorites that I grow every single year in the garden. And so when zone nine gardeners come to me and ask, what should I plant? I always list off all of these vegetables and then send them to all these links individually. And I just was wanting to be able to send someone to one collection of seeds that could set you up for your entire season and that actually grows good in our zone because we have hot summers, it's dry, and most of all, it's hot. So we need summer vegetables that thrive in the hot summer heat and these all do. So let's open it up and show you what's inside. But first, if you don't wanna watch me going through what's inside and you just wanna get your collection, the link will be in the description. So just head straight to the link or check it out with me. So the very first seed that is in here is the Better Boy Hybrid Tomato. And I always grow Better Boy Hybrids because um, they just really do well in the heat and the tomatoes don't seem to crack. I don't really have any pest problems with them or disease issues. They just always do really well. We've got the Serrano hot pepper. Serranos definitely do well for me each year. They always produce probably better than any other pepper in the garden. They do great in the heat and they're a great pepper for salsa. We've got long purple eggplant. If you like eggplant, this is a really great one. It matures in 70 to 79 days. Um, it produces really good all summer. Then we've got California black eye bush beans, which are also known as cowpeas. Um, they do really great and I love them because they are a bush variety green bean, which means um, they don't have to grow up a trellis. They're just really simple. They mature a little bit faster and they produce a ton of green beans. The next one is the Kentucky blue pole bean. And the reason I like to plant bush beans and pole beans is because the pole beans take a little bit longer to mature, but they seem to last longer and they kind of give you a more continuous harvest all season. Whereas, whereas the bush beans produce faster, but then they have a shorter harvest period. So I usually replant them usually like two to three times throughout the summer, but the pole beans I usually just plant once and they kind of produce over the course of the whole season, which is nice. Then one of my absolute favorites is the Armenian cucumber which if you actually don't know this, an uh, Armenian cucumber is actually a melon, but it tastes like a cucumber and it doesn't ever get bitter. I don't know if you've ever um, sliced open a cucumber and had that bitter flavor, or if you've made pickles and you didn't try the cucumber first and the whole batch was ruined because you had bitter cucumbers. Well, the nice thing with uh, Armenian cucumbers is that never happens. So I always have those growing in the garden and they actually are one of my favorites, even to pickle. Then, we have the Early Girl Hybrid Tomato. It's another one of the hybrid varieties that just does really good in our heat. I hardly ever have any issues. They just get huge and they produce like crazy. Then we've got the Sun Gold Hybrid Tomato, which is a cherry tomato. And it is sweet and flavorful. It's one of the most popular cherry tomatoes at True Leaf Market. Then we've got our um, Spaghetti Squash, which is a winter squash, which just means that um, it has a longer um, storage life. So when you pick them, as long as you store them right, they last for a long time. And there's tons of great recipes if you've never had spaghetti squash. It's one of our favorites. They take a little bit longer to mature versus a summer squash, but they can store for much longer. Then we've got uh, zucchini. If you just grow a summer garden no matter where you live, you have to have zucchini because it produces like crazy, it's super easy. Although I've been hearing a lot of people having issues with zucchini squash lately. Um, I personally have never had any issues with zucchini squash, but if you do, um, I would love to help you troubleshoot it. So you can comment below if you're having any trouble with your zucchini throughout the season, or you can always send me an email to audrey at audreyslittlefarm.com. And then the next one is the jalapeno pepper. Everybody, I'm sure has had jalapenos before. They're great in salsa. I love to make jalapenos stuffed with cream cheese and wrapped in bacon. That's always a really good one. And then we have 
Clemson Spineless Okra, which is the 12th one in this collection. And it's just a tried and true favorite okra variety of mine. I grow it every year. They produce like crazy. The plants get huge. It's really fun at the end of the season to leave some of the pods on the vine or on the plant and then you can save the seeds for next year. It's just a really um, easy, high yielding okra plant. And so I really think that if you are planning on growing a summer garden this year, even if you have some things planted already, these seeds can be stored away and you can have them for next year. Um, or you can still plant a whole bunch this summer. I um, just got my collection this week at the time of recording this video and I planted some and I'm going to get the rest planted over the weekend. And um, you really can't be too late, especially on things that produce pretty quickly, like the bush beans. Um, they produce really quickly and we have such a long growing season, you can still get so many things in the ground. And so that's a really cool thing about being in zone nine. So we have such a long growing season, so you can continue to plant seeds all throughout the summer. Usually I will plant a couple of plants of everything at the beginning of the season, like in March to May, depending on how our weather is. And then I'll plant some seeds again towards the end of June. And then sometimes I even still plant some seeds in August to carry us through into the beginning of fall. So you have tons of time. And I'm just so excited about this collection of seeds because it's the most perfect collection to just get you started. And you don't have to worry if they grow good in your zone because these are all varieties that will thrive in zone nine. And as a bonus, when you buy the seed collection, you will be able to scan a code when you get your package at home. And I will, it will send you over a free copy of my zone nine planting schedule. But I also have a zone nine vegetable gardening complete guide. And that includes the planting schedule as well as many other seed starting dates for indoor seed starting times, um, way more um, transplanting information and just overall zone nine gardening information. So if you would like to check that out, head to this link here, which is a video of me going through the guide and showing you what's included so that if you want to get one for yourself that will help you with year round gardening, it will show you everything that's included. So head to that video and I'll see you there.